Discrimination of Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act is a law that has been enacted by the federal government of Nigeria, assented by President Muhammad Buhari on the 17th of January 2019. It is a law that is aimed to enhance effective integration of around 29 million persons with different disabilities in Nigeria, starting from persons with albinism to blindness to deaf, deafness, I mean, and so much. So the essence of it is to see that these people have equal opportunity with others to operate either economically, politically, or socially in the system. It becomes very necessary because after Nigeria signed the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities around 2006 or 2007, it mandated them to now domesticate it in the country, just like a lot of other countries that also signed. But unfortunately, we had, we had delayed between 2007 and in 2019, luckily, we have the act. It was just actually a starting point. And mind you that the number is huge. 29 million as at uh, 2019 was more than, I mean, 12 countries, if you call them small countries across Africa combined. So it's a huge population. The society in itself have not given persons with disabilities opportunity to operate. In fact, you can imagine parents locking their children because maybe they have their own wish share, their albinos, uh, they have cerebral palsy. It, is, it, it even goes um, to an extent of denying them the basic fundamental right to education, even to health. It was not just peculiar to Nigeria, it was across the world over time. And that is why, why the world began to sign those agreements. Nigerian government, what the Nigerian system did that was not very well was to ignore. And when the world became conscious and began to fast track, like the UK government, like the American government, immediately they signed the act. They brought aggressive implementation move. So the past government have not, that was why even the act delayed. There were a lot of movements to have the law the disability law signed between 2000, 2000 down to 2018. So we actually say the activism took 18 years. Luckily, the uh, incumbent administration, through, we say, uh, uh, commitment, made a commitment to sign it, to sign the act. But signing it is not enough. Because the provision of the act also states that for this act to be implemented, you, you need a commission, which that act specifies that there must be a commission, an agency that is responsible for implementing what is just as it is, it's just in the letter. So without that commission, it's almost as if you do not have a law, because it is the commission that is supposed. I usually use this example. Let's say the Republic of Liberia has less than 5 million people. And I say, I usually make an example that these co countries have, they have the legal judicial system, they even have legislature, they have ministries, department and agencies, they have the army, they have the police to administer this country that is 5 million. So as it is, we have 29 million, there is no agency whatsoever. And mind you, why it's important is because these are supposed, these are the vulnerable people. Which government in itself is meant to provide for the security and the welfare of especially the most vulnerable people? So we will say, as it is now, the past administration have not done well in the, admin, in, in, in the welfare and the well-being of persons with disabilities. The in, incumbent administration have not done, we have to acknowledge that the incumbent was the people that signed the act. But what is the act without an agency that is meant to implement the act. So both the past and the present have not done uh, less than anything near 10% of what it takes to help uh, persons with disabilities in Nigeria. Because it is the discrimination that is the core challenge of persons with disabilities. And mind you, not just discrimination, in, in, institutionalized. That means in 90% of the cases, you'll be discriminated. So 
That means your education, you have a challenge in education, you have a challenge in health, you have a challenge in legal system, you have a challenge in getting job, which is economic system. So a lot of knowledge about disabilities, dissemination, promotion of the law should be made available to the people so that they will know that discrimination is now um, illegal, if I use that language. It's now a crime to discriminate. And begin to share more information about different disabilities. For instance, like an albino, you just need to protect the children from the harmful effects of the sun. It's not that their mother committed evil, or that the child is an abominable child, or that the child's body part is good for rituals. So I have not seen these proactive steps being taken by the government. So for, not just for albini, uh, persons with albinism, but persons with disabilities across the board. Enlightenment that is supposed, that is provided by the law, so many campaigns that ought to be going on, except for private organizations like the Abino Foundation, is not yet done. So the welfare, the government is not taking much. Not, not yet. There's urgent need to set up the commission now.